What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to give you guys my thoughts uh, for tomorrow's game between our Atlanta Falcons and the Jacksonville Jaguars. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys continuing to tune into the channel, uh, continuing to share out my content on all the social media platforms. If you would like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, uh, which is the dollar sign you talk sports. Um, if you would like to follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter, you can follow me at you talk sports as well. Uh, with that being said, uh, we are on the road to 2000 subscribers, but I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for continuing to tune in. Uh, continuing to comment um, and leave your thoughts um, about each video. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So like I stated in today's video, I do want to give my pregame thoughts uh, for tomorrow's game between our Atlanta Falcons and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, this game is an away game. It will be played at 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow uh, in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, and I'm looking forward to this game. Uh, this game tomorrow is a must-win game for our Atlanta Falcons. Um, at the end of the day, personally, I believe that this game is a make-or-break game. If this Falcons team uh, wants uh, wants to make the playoffs, you have to have this win. Um, you can't afford to fall uh, three games under 500. Right now, our Falcons sit at four and six and are currently still in the hunt uh, behind teams like the Philadelphia Eagles, behind teams like the Minnesota Vikings, behind teams like uh, the New Orleans Saints at this point. If we win this game tomorrow, this could be crucial uh, for our playoff hopes. So in this game, you have to come away with this victory. If the Falcons lose this game, uh, their their chances of making the playoffs are very slim at this point. If you fall three games under 500, um, there are seven playoff teams in each division uh, this year because they did add an additional wild card team. Uh, so the Falcons do have a uh, have a chance. We are currently in the mix to make the playoffs, but this is going to be a huge game tomorrow for our Atlanta Falcons. Now, a uh, couple thoughts that I have heading into this game tomorrow. The first thing is our Falcons have really played well this season uh, on the road. All four wins that we've gotten this year have come on the road. We haven't won a single home game uh, this year, which is crazy to me. Uh, really mind boggling that. Um, normally NFL teams and normally teams play well at home and usually it's tougher to get wins on the road. But for whatever reason, this season, this Atlanta Falcons team plays better on the road. So this should bode well for our Atlanta Falcons that this game is being played in Jacksonville because we played very well for whatever reason this year on the road. So hopefully um, we continue to have success as we've had so far this season playing road games and we can come away with a victory. Uh, in this game, a couple key injuries heading into the game. Um, I talked about it in my last video. It looks like Deion Jones will be out tomorrow. Um, he was, I believe, a game time decision and questionable um, heading into this game. But the Falcons did uh, elevate linebacker uh, Dorian Etheridge, uh, who is a rookie linebacker for our team. Um, so I definitely think because they elevated him from the practice squad, I definitely think that uh, this could mean that Deion Jones may not be able to go tomorrow. I believe he'll be a game time decision, but this could be a huge blow for our Falcons if Deion Jones doesn't play in this game. But Dorian Etheridge uh, was a bright spot in the preseason. He looked like a linebacker that was able to, you know, flow sideline to sideline. He made a lot of tackles during the preseason and he played a little bit early in the season on a uh, special team. So. I definitely think that uh, the Falcons still should be able to come away with a win, even if Deion Jones isn't able to play. I expect guys like Dorian Etheridge and guys like Michael Walker, our second year linebacker, to be able to fill in for Deion Jones if he's not able to go in this game. Uh, Deion Jones is having a very good season. Him and Foye Aluakon. Uh, Foye Aluakon has over 100 tackles already this season, and Deion Jones already has 92 tackles on the season. So, Shout out to those guys uh, for balling out those linebackers, uh, Foyer and Deion Jones, both two, two of the better linebackers in the league, two of the leaders on our team. So it'll be a huge blow if Deion Jones can't go in this game. 
but it will have to be next man up if he's not able to play in this game. Um, secondly, in this game, on the injury report, uh, Jalen Hawkins, our uh, safety, free safety slash strong safety, um, looks like he'll be able to play in this game. He's missed the last two games with injuries. And before he got injured, uh, he was having a really good season. He actually has uh, leads the team in interceptions this year with two interceptions. He had two games, back-to-back games, where he had interceptions, which was crucial for a couple of our Atlanta Falcons wins. Uh, he had an interception against the New York Jets, and he also had um, an interception in back-to-back wins for our Atlanta Falcons. So definitely looking forward to uh, getting back uh, Jalen Hawkins. He is one of the better uh, playmakers in our secondary this year. Uh, he's been a ball hawk, so it's definitely going to be uh, good to get him back in the mix because he's a, a safety that can also play a little bit of the nickel position and kind of play that rover position. Um, I definitely think that this will be um, definitely be a good thing for our defense to get back one of our playmakers on the back end um, who's good at taking the ball away because I do believe that uh, Trevor Lawrence, who's the rookie quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars, uh, he will put the ball in harm's way. And maybe uh, Jalen Hawkins or A.J. Terrell can come away with an interception in this game. Uh, but I definitely am looking forward to this game. Uh, those were two of the major injuries in this game heading into this week. Uh, Deion Jones and the foyer at Luacon. Um, I talked about in my last video that Quadra Olsen has b- uh, battled an uh, illness this week. So he'll be out in this game as well. Um, another player that was on the injury report um, is Cordero Patterson. Um, he's another guy that I think will be a game time decision. They haven't stated whether he will play or not. Um, personally, I don't think my gut is telling me that he's not going to play in this game. Um, but we will see. Um, he will be a game time decision as well. Uh, he's been battling an ankle injury. So we will need guys to step up in his place as well. The guys like Alameda Zacchaeus, uh, Tajay Sharp, um, our, our tight ends, uh, Kyle Pitts, uh, Lee Smith. Uh, We're going to need those guys to step up in this game. Um, Mike Davis in the backfield and uh, Wayne Gallman. We're going to need all these guys to step up in this game if Cordero Patterson is not able to play in this game. Um, Now, uh, heading into this game, a couple keys to victory uh, to win this game tomorrow against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Mm -hmm. Uh, The first thing in this game is you're going to need to mix the run and pass in this game. Uh, We have to do a better job on first down, first and second downs of gaining yardage. Uh, the last couple weeks, we've struggled on um, first down. We haven't been gaining really much, uh, pretty much any yards. We've been getting a lot of negative plays on first down, whether it was whether it was false start uh, penalties or whether it um, has been us losing uh, losing yardage when we try to run the ball on first down where Mike Davis has been getting tackled in the backfield uh, for losses. We have to do a better job on this uh, in this game on first down. I would like to see Arthur Smith in this game throw the ball a little bit more on first down, maybe with play action pass. But you have to mix the running pass in this game and you have to get off to a better start uh, to win this game. So that's my first key to victory in this game is definitely going to be getting off to a better start and staying ahead of the chains in this game. On first and second down, you have to do a better job of putting yourself in better third down situations the last two weeks. Uh, We've really struggled on third down. We've had a lot of three and outs. And in this game, it's going to be important that our offense stays on the field and they're able to maintain drives. So that would be the first key to victory in this game is do better on first and second downs. uh, And that'll help with the third down efficiency of being able to uh, prevent those three and outs and prevent our defense from being on the field and being gassed. Uh, The second key to victory in this game is is winning the turnover battle. It's going to be important in this game that we don't have the penalties, um, the self-inflicted wounds that we've had, the self-inflicted penalties, whether it's been false start, whether it's been illegal uh, formations and things of that nature, like we had in the last game against the Patriots where we had the legal formation uh, on the field goal by Young Way Koo where a guy wasn't lined up correctly on the offensive line. We can't have those self-inflicted penalties in this game We have to win the turnover battle in this game. Uh, Those are going to be two key things in this game. We can't afford to shoot ourselves in the foot in this game. Uh, We have to be uh, better better prepared for um, 
preventing these penalties, these self-inflicted, uh, self-inflicted wounds. Now, in my third key to victory in this game is going to be scoring points. We have to do a better job uh, once we get into the red zone of being able to uh, put together scoring drives the last couple of weeks. We haven't scored a touchdown in the last two weeks against the Cowboys. We didn't score a touchdown. And then against the Patriots, we didn't score a touchdown. So we really had a ton of droughts uh, the last two weeks. We haven't been able to put any points on the board. We scored zero points against the Patriots uh, on Thursday night last week uh, in that massacre. So we have to be better uh, this week in scoring points and putting points on the board and helping our defense out. Really, the last couple of weeks, the defense played really well against the New England Patriots, holding them to, I believe, 19 points. But our offense didn't do a good job of, of extending drives, and they didn't do a good job of putting points on the board. So we definitely have to be better in this game of putting points on the board. Um, when the when uh, plays are there and they present themselves, we have to be ready to make those key plays. I always talk about there's, you know, three or four plays in the game that will decide the momentum of the game, that will decide the game. We have to be better on third down. We have to be better on fourth down. When we go for it on fourth downs, that usually is what decides the game. Uh, against the Patriots, we went for it a couple of times on first down, and I believe we were 0-2. When we went for it on fourth down, on converting on fourth down. So this is going to be a huge game for the Atlanta Falcons. We have to do a better job in this game of converting third downs and converting those fourth downs if you go for it. But you have to put points on the board. If we do those things in this game, I expect the Falcons to come away with a victory, which will make us five and six on the season and put us right in the thick of things for the NFC wildcard race. So we definitely have to win this game. To me, this is a must win game. You might as well say that this is like a playoff game that we're heading into because I really think if you lose this game and you fall below uh, three games below 500, it's going to be a really big hole to try to dig yourself out to make the playoffs. And pretty much you may have to go undefeated the rest of the season, the rest of the way to try to uh, compete for a playoff position. So this is a game that the Falcons must have. This game is crucial for the Atlanta Falcons to gain confidence. Our offensive line has struggled on protecting Matt Ryan the last couple weeks. They have a ton of penalties. They've really been struggling with their confidence. This is a game where you get back into rhythm. Both Matt Ryan and this offense, the offensive line, the running game, this is a game where you get right, you get back the momentum, and get the, the boat going right, you know, flowing back in the right direction. If you lose this game, uh, this is uh, I really believe that this will end your playoff hopes if you lose this game. So, like I said, this is a must win game. This game is going to tell me a lot um, about the character of this team and how this team comes out uh, tomorrow. It's going to tell me a lot about this coaching staff. and It's going to tell me a lot about these players and if they're prepared coming in this game. But you have to come into this game uh, respecting your opponent. You can't expect the Jaguars to come in here and just roll over because they're having a bad season. The Jaguars are, are actually trending upward and have been playing a lot better than they played early in the season. And this is a trap game for the Atlanta Falcons because the Jaguars have nothing to lose in this game. They know that they're not making the playoffs and they're trying to spoil our playoff hopes and basically end our, you know, end our playoff hopes. So we definitely have to come in this game, put our foot on the uh, Jaguars neck, uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars neck. Um, in this game, it's going to be imperative that we come out and we get out to a, a early lead uh, to let the uh, let the Jaguars know that they can't play with us and that they're not playing on the same level. Uh, they're not playing on the same level with, uh, as us. Uh, we can't play down to our opponent as we've done the last couple of weeks. We have to do better about approaching every game like it's an NFL game. We can't look at these teams or look at teams based off of their record and decide how we're going to play that game. We have to come out each and every game with a certain standard. And this is the game that you set the standard. And this is the game that you prove whether you want to make the playoffs or whether you're ready to pack it in for the rest of the season and go home. Now, I definitely think that this Falcons team will win this game tomorrow. Um, I don't really like doing score predictions, uh, but I'll give you guys my score prediction. I think the Falcons will win this game tomorrow by a score of 27 uh, to 17. I think the Falcons win by 10, 27-17, uh, I think will be the final score. 
But I definitely think the Falcons should win this game. If they lose this game, personally, I think your playoff hopes are over. As Falcons fans, I think our, our playoff hopes for this season are done with. This is a game that's a must win. You have to get this win to get the five and six. We can't afford to fall to uh, fall three games below 500. But with that being said, this be your boy, Ju. You guys let me know what you think of the video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. I'll holler at you guys uh, in the next video. Um, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button for your boy. But I appreciate you guys. As always, rise up. Peace.